hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i know it's been a while but i'm sorry a lot of things happened my laptop got spoiled so today i'm shooting this video because it's long overdue and it's high time i start making videos back again without further ado let's get started today we'll be making a uh, sugar seal the alternative for sugar seal is isomalt seal due to the fact that isomalt is so expensive we decided to find an alternative which is using sugar to make the seal so without further ado let's start this video to start to start this video you need a pot a very solid pot for this i'm going to put in this is 150 gram sugar this is 50 gram water And this is 25 grams glucose. This is very, very thick and very difficult to work with. But however, you are going to find a way to work with it. Now, this is going to go on the stove on a medium heat. And I'm going to melt this till I have the consistency that I'm looking for. I'm going to keep stirring this until the glucose and the sugar dissolves totally. You can use a candy thermometer for this, but I'm not used to a candy thermometer. I just used to eyeball it. I'm just going to keep stirring and stirring. If not, it's just going to caramelize and, be, and change its color so deep on one corner. Meanwhile, the other part are still boiling. So even if it's going to caramelize, it's going to caramelize equally and not so fast. It's the essence of this water over here is to, to test when it's ready. If it's ready, it will solidify when it enters into the water. So right now, it's not yet ready. I'll keep stirring. It's almost there. How you know it's ready is when you take a little and just pop it in and let it sit for a while it's it's hardened already it's beginning to harden up it has actually hardened up but it's not dear yet it's not it's not dear yet so i'll keep stirring i need to do the now I'm going to do the final and ultimate test. As you can see, it's not dissolving with the water and it has taken its form. You can hear it. If I hit the bowl, you can hear the crystal sound. That's when you know it is ready. That crystal sound and that's what you used to know it's ready now I'm going to take my candy it's now a candy of the fire now I'm going to pour my candy onto my silicone mat I don't want to pour too much this is for the purpose of this video and when you do this you can color it this is my amari color this is blue and this is fuchsia you can just mix it up then I'm just going to mix it up with my with my oops the pink is not coming out like i so wish but however 
I'm going to add more candy to this. The essence of doing it this way is to allow it to pour. If you like this video, please subscribe, click the like button. And if you've been wondering how this is done, this is an alternative for isomod because isomod is damn expensive. I don't know why this fish is not coming out the way I want it to, but I'm still going to manage it. Okay, now that this is done, I'm going to lift it up. Oops, it's quite hot. You find a jar like this. And place the what we have just done on top of it to allow it to pour. You can use something that has a more uh, a more cony uh, bottom like this. I could decide to change it. I take this off. And put it here the under is quite hot <laughs> it's not easy working with this thing that's why you need a very very big mat in case it runs like it runs like very very far now you can at this stage you can shape it to what you want or what you like it to look like to do that you need a clip I have my clip handy over here, so I am going to just do this. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to do this. It's taking its shape already, but I won't give up on it. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Oh, I ran out. So, this is just basically it. At this stage, I'm going to leave it to, to cool down. And you will see what the end result is like. If you have watched up to this level, that shows that you are really interested in this kind of video. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Because I make this kind of video. At this point, I've taken out all the clips. It is almost cold. Disclaimer, this should cool down to room temperature. But for the purpose of this video, I won't take it out. You have to be careful when working with it because it is very fragile. As you know, it's a crystal. But at this point, if I touch it, it's not sticking to my hands anymore. So I'm just going to turn it, take off the cup, at this stage you have to be very careful not to break it because you have to take out the silicone mat uh, just pray just pray just pray okay that went out successfully i guess the color i poured into this is just too much very beautiful i have lost that dust that i've already poured vodka into so I'm just going to paint the edges with gold to make it look so beautiful give it that extra extra touch this is so easy to make you can make it within 20 minutes like super fast but I would advise you make it like like um, say 30 minutes before you put it on the tape like so when it's dry 
don't put hot sugar crystal on it just add some some little you can see something extra so this is the sugar crystal I hope you enjoyed this video as you can see it's very very beautiful very easy to make you can see the patches of the fuchsia pink fuchsia although the the blue overpowered it but you see turned out it still turned out very very nice mm -hmm. you can make the you can make the borders very fat like very obvious mm -hmm. I really love making this. To so work with this, you have to be fast working with this. This is so beautiful. Look at the crystals. Very, very beautiful. So, I needed to make this, create it, tag me on Instagram. Leave a comment below. Tell me how you found the recipe. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.